Saints fans, they're watching the weather in Atlanta very closely since we are less than 48 hours from playing the Falcons on their home turf. Yeah, travel looks mostly clear at this point, but as Rachel Hanley explains, people going to the game might still hit some snags in their plans. Helene hit some parts of Atlanta hard, but the Saints are still marching in. We haven't had any discussions about any type of logistical issues. And fans are on their way too. I was like, well, my flights wasn't canceled, so why not? One flight between New Orleans and Atlanta was canceled Friday morning, but by the time Dion Thomas took off around noon, things were looking better. After one setback, it was originally for 1140, but they delayed it to 1230. Her group was able to take off. If you're planning on skipping the airport altogether, you do still have plenty of time to drive to Atlanta, but you'll want to check your route before you get on the road. I-85 and I-20 were both clear between New Orleans and Atlanta Friday, but the Georgia DOTD is still showing closures on smaller streets in and around the city. Hotels could be affected too. Friday afternoon, more than 15,000 homes and businesses in Fulton County were still in the dark. The good news is none of them were in the same zip code as the stadium. So most fans should avoid problems. The hotels keep telling me to um, check in or welcome. As for Saints fans who live in Falcons territory and are trying to get home, they have even more to think about this weekend. Brittany Hall was visiting New Orleans when Helene hit. I kept checking my cameras to see, you know, how the front of my house looked in the back and everything seems to be OK, which I'm super grateful for. With no storm cleanup to do, she's still trying to go to the game to see her real home team. Falcons? No, I'm from New Orleans all day. I've been in Atlanta for 19 years, so Saints forever. All this to say fans should be in the clear for Sunday's game. I'm hoping that, you know, everything is not bad. We all can get out there and still have a good time. The trip just might take a little more planning than usual. Rachel Handley, WWL Louisiana.